Welcome to Green Tree Approvals and Alerts. In this video we're going to look at alert collections. Live collections, so ones that are updated as transactions are created and changed, and also scheduled collections, ones that can be updated say on an hourly basis, a daily basis, or even a weekly basis. So here we can see on this particular desktop a window within workflow called Low Inventory. And now suddenly we can see that the Low Inventory list has actually been populated. Basically what's happened is a schedule rule has been set up within Greentree to go and check through all the inventory items and any that are considered low in stock have been added to the list on the screen. So without the user actually doing anything, basically just having their desktop open, they now have an active list or a live list of inventory items that were low in stock at the point in time that rule ran. Let's have a look at how you'd set up such a rule. First of all, you need to create a collection, so somewhere to store all these records and that is under the Alert Collections menu. So I'm going to create one called Low Inventory List. And the record type I'm going to store into that is a stock item. And that's all I need to do to create the actual collection. Now I need to define a rule within the system to actually populate that collection. So I do that within Rule Maintenance. Of course I want my rule to run through all our stock items and this is going to be a scheduled rule which means I will dictate when I want that, those stock items to be checked to see if they're low in inventory. Under my what to do tab in my conditions we have a predefined condition already in the system that says quantity available within X percentage of its minimum reorder level. So I select that particular condition and add it. I'm going to say that if the stock items are within 20% of their minimum stocking level in location 02 and accumulate the sublocations, so things like aisles and bins, then I want those particular stock items, stock items added to my collection. Now to add them to the collection, I simply go to my scheduled output tab, and within there I can choose add matching records to alert collection, click add, and I can choose my low inventory list collection. And that's all I need to do. Because this rule will be scheduled, and I've chosen the scheduled output tab, that simply means each time this t particular rule is run, it will clear the collection out and repopulate it. So there's nothing I need to do to clear the collection out from inventory items that were low yesterday to replace them with ones that are low today. Simply by the rule rerunning, it will clear it out and add in the ones that are low now. Additionally to this, I need to set up a workflow desktop to actually show the low inventory list. Let's have a look at how to do that. So from the menu, we go into Workflow, System, Organize Desks. Now I'm just loading an existing desk here, with some panels already in it, and also some empty panels. Now to add our collection to our workflow desktop, down near the bottom of our list, you'll see an option called Alert Collection in the toolbox. Drag that onto your desktop, and what we would like to do is give it a bit more space. So by right-clicking on it, we can then merge it to the right several times for it to take up the entire space we have free, and also merge it down. Now on the right-hand side with that selected, we can see the properties we can select for this particular window. The most important thing here is the alert collection to show. So I'm going to choose our low inventory list collection to show. Now at this point I'm going to save that and reload it because once I reload it, because it now has the collection, it actually gives us some more options. And importantly, one of those options is to show it as a table. Now the, it's important if you can show as a table to do so, because this allows the user then to select which fields from that particular class, in this case the inventory class, they want to see on the desktop and how they want to sort it. So now that I've closed to show it as a table, I'll look at the other options on here as well. So I'm also going to allow the user to uh, refresh it, I'm also going to allow them to drill down, I'm also going to allow them to remove the items, and now what I'm going to do is go into the table layout. So this is where I define what fields the user will see on their desktop. So already the system has put on there the code and description for me. So what I'm going to do is remove that first column because I don't want that. So I just go remove this column. I'm going to rename code. So 
to the stock item code and give it a bit more space. Uh, description, I'm going to widen quite a bit as well. I'm also going to rename that one. And now I want to add in some more information as well. So I'm going to add another column here. And I'm going to, here we're going to see the attributes that belong to that particular inventory item class or stock item class. And one of the uh, particular attributes on here is going to be the quantity on hand. So I'm going to pop that on the desktop as well. And I'll widen that a little bit. I'll rename it. Just to make it look a little prettier for the user. And also what I'll do is I'll click on the stock item code. And you can see it's added a little triangle there. That's telling me that it's going to sort that for me. Now that I've set that up, I would save my desktop and then load that particular desk. So at the moment we can see now that our desktop has been loaded and at the moment we have an empty collection. We can't see any stock items uh, at all. What we would like to do now is actually get our rule to run. So to do that, there's a couple of different ways. Normally what you would do is you'd come into the uh, task scheduler under approvals and alerts. You select process document rules, create a schedule for it. So if I want this to run once a day, I can say, yep, I want this to run at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, every day. And the particular rule I want to run is the uh, low inventory rule. And I can choose which company or companies I want it to run in. Alternatively, if I want the rule to, to run right now, just check that I've got it right, I can come into Rule Maintenance again, I can load our rule up that we've created, and simply click on Run Now. And as you can see, it will actually populate for me. So now the user has a, li a list on their desktop of inventory items that are low in stock. Now of course you could use that for a whole myriad of different purposes. Um, so for example, you could create a collection on the desktop of um, outstanding debtors invoices that are over 60 days old and put that on a debt collections uh, person's desktop if you like. Um, it could be a list of uh, CRM contacts that we haven't actually contacted within the last 90 days. So there's many different ways and you could actually use these scheduled alert collections. Let's now have a look at live collections. Ones that uh, are added to and uh, have items taken away from them as transactions are added and changed within Green Tree itself. So the example I'm going to use here is an active shipments. So we're talking about uh, import costing and creating a, desk, a collection on the desktop for users so they can see uh, shipments that are actually coming in. So let's have a look at this in action. Um, if I come into purchase orders and shipment entry, and I'll just bring this down, and I create a brand new shipment, give it a description, Add some, a purchase order to the particular shipment and then on saving that particular shipment we can see it's now been added to our active shipments window. Not only that, as the user edits and changes that particular shipment, so they come in now and they uh, change the status to not left still being made, they've got an estimated arrival date and they update that and again it will update and put itself in the right place on the desktop. And then finally, as time goes by and the shipment it needs to be receipted, so I'm creating the receipt. Now that the shipment's gone through its process, it's actually removed itself from the desktop as well. So let's have a look at the rule, or rules in fact, that actually make this uh, active desktop uh, possible. So first of all, we need actually to set up a collection to store these shipments in. So again, we come into our alert collection screen, and as you can see here, I've created a collection called Active Shipments, and they are simply a collection of the PO shipment class. Then in Approvals and Alerts, in Rule Maintenance, we can see here I've created a rule that operates on the PO shipment class, and I've said it's form driven on any new shipment or any change shipment, and I've said all records that are new and changed, and then under the Actions tab, firstly I've said remove it from the collection, active shipments, and then I've said add it to the collection, active shipments. Now you might be wondering why I removed it and then added it. Um, 
because if the shipment is actually changed and I add it t twice, it will actually appear on the desktop momentarily twice and that would actually confuse the user. So when a record is being changed, I actually take it away from the collection and then I re-add it to the collection. So it actually only shows on the desktop once. If an item is actually not in the collection and you choose remove, it's not going to cause an error. It will just simply skip over that particular um, condition or action. Now I have a second rule here as well. And we'll just load that up on the screen. And that particular rule simply says that, again on a PO shipment, and in this case this one is programmatically driven on the receipting of a shipment. So basically what I'm saying is when a shipment is actually receipted, again all records, simply remove yourself from the collection. And that is all that is required to actually populate and then remove shipments from that particular collection. And then of course we create a desktop as we did before for the other particular screen for low inventory items to actually show those shipments on the screen. I've made it drillable too so the user can simply drill into a, a particular record from there, um, they can update it from here and the particular window will be updated live.